Hey guys, it is Jess and welcome back to my channel. So I have a bit of a cold. Um, I don't know if I sound any different, but I have a really sore throat and I like never get a sore throat. Um, but yeah, it kind of hurts. So apologies um, if I do sound different or I cough or anything like that. So anyway, um, <clears throat> see already, I already had to clean my throat. Um, yeah, so I do have some stories to tell you. So you may or may not know, but for my 18th, oh, my 18th, for my sister's 18th birthday, I was going to record a vlog and I ended up like doing a whole heap of recording and then I kind of just, um, sucked out and deleted it all. So I figured I would just tell you about my, um, sister's 18th birthday instead because it was a really good day and I, I don't know I kind of wish that I didn't oh I don't know like I don't think I had good enough footage to release a vlog for it um because I'm still like learning and everything but at the same time like I, I need to just suck it up and put a vlog out there because otherwise it's just gonna like I don't know you know what I mean like you have to start somewhere but Anyway, I'll get there. I will get there. So my sister's 18th. So yeah, it was a really, really, really fun day. So my mum had this idea that she wanted to do some like kind of like a scavenger hunt, I suppose, for her birthday. So we had like an entire day planned for her and um, mum had set up like a bunch of clues. So every clue kind of told her what she was going to be doing next so she woke up in the morning and she opened up a few presents and then mum had like a clue set up for her and that clue told her that she had to go down to our like the local mall for something to drink so we all met my sister there and um when we were there like we had like a cappuccino and a flat white and my sister had like a um Oh, what is it? An iced chocolate, iced coffee. And then when we were there, my mum had like another clue for her and they're all like in envelopes and she'd like written out all these clues and made them like rhyme. So then the next clue was that she had to like get her dog and walk her dog down to my grandma's house for an egg and bacon roll. So she walked down to my grandma's house, uh, like where we live, and my grandma had prepared this like whole breakfast for her. So there was like, um, we had egg and bacon rolls and she tried to make pancakes and she made it from like a packet mix because she was a little bit out of time. And it would they were like the worst pancakes I've ever eaten. Even she admitted she'd like, they stuck to the pan and they looked like fish like pan fried fish it was so random they were awful um so yeah we, we didn't eat them but we had egg and bacon rolls and they were really good and one of her good friends also came over for breakfast um and then she opened up like a few more presents and stuff and then from there her and her friend met another friend and they went shopping and um yes yeah, so they like went shopping with her birthday money that she got and while she was like shopping, my grandma was like, did you ever get Abby an 18th present? And I'm like, well, no, because I was going out with her that night and I was going to buy her a drink. And my grandma's like, no, it's the 18th. You have to get her a present. And I was like, but, but I'm buying her a drink. I don't know what to get her. And then my grandma guilted me. So I ended up having to like go down to the shop and buy her a present. So I ended up going down and buying her a Pandora. Um, it's really cute, like dog Pandora. So she loves dogs. She she would definitely, like, she loved the Pandora. So I am glad I got her a present in the end. <laughs> um, yeah. So then after that, um, we all just went to the, um, like, to this playground where when we were younger, our grandpa used to take us to that playground. So it's sort of like, I guess, a special playground in a way. And yeah, we all went down to that playground and we had like a picnic. And that was really fun because I had chocolate and I love chocolate. <laughs> um, yeah. Then after that, we like <clears throat> all went home and got ready to go out for dinner. And we went out for dinner to like um, an Asian restaurant and we had like dumplings and fried rice and all that kind of stuff. It was really, really good. And then after that, we went to the casino. Because um, when, like here in Australia, once you turn 18, you can um, like eat whatever you want, pretty much. Um, you can eat whatever you want. I mean, you can do whatever you want. Like you can vote, you can gamble, drink. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? Like you can do all that kind of stuff. So that is what we did. 
We went to the casino and none of us won any money. So don't gamble, kitties. It's bad for you. <laughs> um, and then after that, we went, my sister and all of her friends and myself, we all went out to um, the city. Like, we call it Civic. That's like where all the nightclubs are and stuff. And we ended up having, um, we stayed out until like three o'clock in the morning. So it was a pretty good night. And I'm not going to go too much into that because, you know, like, um, family friendly and all that kind of stuff. But what I will say is that we had a lot of lemonade. And we had a good night. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was my sister's 18th birthday. Um, yeah, and I did, as I said, I had all that in like in vlog form and then I deleted it. But let's just move on because I do have some more stories for y'all. So as you know, I spoke about it in like a previous sort of speed build. I had been um, like absolutely dreading going to my sister's play. So the play actually was not that bad it was not that bad at all it was very long don't get me wrong it was very long and I mean I would have preferred it if it was like a little bit shorter but it actually wasn't that bad it was pretty good like I wasn't really bored um I this sounds really bad but like I bought a book to read just in case I got bored and I didn't really even have to read the book like there was like an intermission and stuff and I read the book then but overall it was actually pretty good and like I did laugh it was kind of funny um my only like critiques was that it was they turned the play into a musical, so I really didn't like any of the musical bits because I'm not into... Man, I hate musicals. I'm not going to lie. I hate musicals. So, <laughs> sorry if you like musicals, but I absolutely hate them. So, yeah. Like, other than that, it was really, really good. And um, I definitely enjoyed it way more than what I thought I would. And there were cookies at intermission, and I honestly had, like, ten and my dad's like, stop eating all the cookies. You're being embarrassing. I'm like, I don't care. I've eaten really good all week. I want cookies. So I had like all of these cookies at intermission and <sighs> shameless about it. Honestly, I don't care. Cookies are good. So yeah, that was my sister's play. Um, I have like heaps of like little things I want to talk about because I feel like I haven't actually sat down and done like a, oh no, I did a chit chatty voiceover the other day. Okay. Well, I have a lot of stories that I want to talk about and I just want to tell you guys all these stories like now. So yeah, you're going to get, um, how many stories do I have? So I have my sister's 18th, the play, um, we have one more story. So in total, this whole voiceover, you're going to get three stories from your whores truly. So that was my sister's play. Then the next thing I want to talk about was on the weekend, we had our early family, like extended family Christmas. So basically we do extended family Christmas every Christmas obviously. And, um, because there's like so many of us and some of us have to travel and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's easier just to kind of do it in November. It just has worked out that way because I guess people aren't quite as busy in November as they are in the other months and everything. So we had that on Sunday morning. Now I had done night shift Saturday night. So I finished night shift at six o'clock in the morning and, um, yeah, so basically I didn't get home from work until about quarter to seven or seven o'clock. Um, and I was like, okay, so family Christmas was at 11.30 and I knew that we had to leave home at 11. So I was going to get up at 10 o'clock to get ready. And I was like, all right, do I go to sleep for three hours or do I just like stay awake? So I just decided to stay awake because I was like, it's only three hours. Like I, I figured that I'd feel, you know, when you like have a nap and it just makes you feel worse. So I decided that instead of like having a nap and just feeling like worse about it, I would just stay awake. So I stayed awake and it was so weird. I was so awake. Like I wasn't even tired and, but like I was too awake. It was really bizarre. I don't know how to explain it, but, um, I was like extremely awake, like nearly hyperactive awake. It was so weird, but that's, that's random. So anyway, we went to the family Christmas and, um, it was so much fun. My grandma, um, we actually we all had to bring something. So my grandma makes this seven layer salad. A couple of months ago, we had like another family event and she found this recipe for seven layer salad and she decided that she really liked the recipe. And ever since then, she has been obsessed with this salad and she brings it everywhere. And she's like, I'm making seven layer salad, seven layer salad. And like, just like puts it into the conversation all the time. It's so cute in my opinion, like her and her seven layer salad. So my grandma made that. And then my husband and I were supposed to bring a 
dessert, but my grandma's like, don't worry, I'll make a dessert for you because that's like her thing. My grandma makes desserts. She's like a cake maker and like she made our wedding cake. She makes everybody's birthday cakes and all that kind of stuff. So she's like a very good um, dessert maker. So she ended up making a pavlova and I'm actually, I'm going to Google this. I think pavlova is from New Zealand. I, I don't know, but basically what it is, I'm just Googling this, Pavlova, it's delicious. Um, let me have a look. Named after, so it's named after a Russian ballerina and a Pavlova. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. So it's like a meringue. Um, you guys know like what meringue is. So it's like meringue and then it's like... The outside of the meringue is really crispy and the inside is like really soft and moist. And then it's like always like topped with whipped cream and fruit. And it's just, oh, it is so, so good. And I'm just having a look now. The origin is New Zealand. So I don't know like where you live if you guys would have pavlova, but we have it here in Australia a lot. Like pavlova is kind of like a classic sort of Christmas dish. And like, I don't know, we always have it around Christmas anyway, where we are. Um, it's like a real summery dish, so it's not even a dish, it's a dessert. What am I saying? Anyway, pavlova. So my grandma made pavlova and seven layer salad and we like transported it in the boot of my car and this is like really irrelevant but I just wanted to tell someone. I was taking the pavlova out of the car and my sister was helping out and she went to close the boot and she ended up closing the boot. Or, like, would you guys call it a trunk? Like the back of a car. So you know, like the, the boot or the trunk at the back of the car. My sister closed it on my arm and it hurt so much. And I was like standing at the front of my cousin's house and I was like, you closed the boot on my arm. And she's like, I'm sorry. We're just like screaming at each other. We're very strange, my sister and I. So anyway, that was, that was all right. But we had like heaps of food and it was good because I, I did say I was a bit worried about eating bad and there wasn't really any junk food there at all. Um, because it was just like mostly, it was just like chicken and all sorts of different salads. So I just like filled up on salad. Like it was really delicious salad. So I'm pretty happy with how I ended up like eating and stuff. I didn't have to worry about that. And I have like some cousins that have, um, yeah, cousins and they're beautiful. So I got to see my little baby cousin who is five months old and she is honestly like the cutest little baby I've ever seen. She has these like giant chubby cheeks and, um, Oh, and she has like, oh, she's just, she's so cute. Honestly, I want to steal her and just take her home with me. Um, and then my older cousin, um, she is nearly four and she is just like adorable as well. And she's so cuddly, which I just love. And you just come up and you're like, her name is Poppy. And you just be like, Poppy, I, I need a cuddle from you. And she'll just like come up and she'll like tuck her head into your chest and just like curl up and cuddle with you, which is like adorable. I love my little cousins. I always, oh, oh. I'm getting all like proud cousin moment here. Um, yeah, so that was like the family Christmas. It was really, really fun. And like we, we did like heaps of cool stuff, like we blew bubbles. And then we have this thing at the family Christmases where we take family photos. And they're like, it's funny because the guys are not interested in the family photos. So it's usually just us girls and the guys like take the photos of us. So we get like in, um, we have like a couple of like, um, positions that like we always do so we had um like we hop in like a train kind of and we take a family photo and it's all the girls in the photo and then all the, the guys just like taking the photos of us so it, I don't know it's really funny and then after that um everyone got sick of taking photos except for myself my sister my mum and my cousin we're very photogenic so then while everyone else is sick of having photos like we branch off and take our own set of photos and we took like heaps of photos <laughs> and yeah we honestly like took photos for like half an hour it was so much fun um yeah and then I had to end up like going home and going to bed um yeah so like my sleep is just like so crazy at the moment because as I said I've been doing like night shift and stuff and yeah it's just like it's so weird because I'm just like out of it. I don't even know what day it is. Like I keep on being like, oh, is it Monday? It's Tuesday. Like I have to check. And it, that's like really weird. And I feel like if you don't do night shift, you, you probably think that I'm mad. Because I remember this one day, um, we were like at the shop and this lady came up to me and my mum and she was like, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm a nurse and I do night shift. 
I, what day is it? My mum was like, oh, it's Wednesday. And when the lady left, I was like, mum, was she crazy? Like, how do you not know what day it is? And mum was like, no, when you do night shift, like, it can really mess you up. And that was like ages ago. And now that I'm older and I actually do night shift, I totally understand where that lady was coming from. Like, it's really bad when you do night shift. You don't know what day it is. It's bizarre. Because, like, you you just, like, you lose track of everything. Like, it's it's weird. Because, like, today is Tuesday. So I will start work on Tuesday, but I will finish work on Wednesday. And then I will go to sleep and wake up and it's still Wednesday. It, like, it's just, I can't explain it, but if you guys do night shift, I think you'll understand what I mean. It's just bizarre. It is the weirdest thing ever in the whole entire world. So, um, tonight is Tuesday night, so I have tonight's night shift, and then I have one more night shift left, and then I'm done. I don't mind night shift, though, except the only issue is that I'm at, like... I'm not on my own, there are security guards, but I'm the only person, like, on my floor, so I'm on, like, the second floor, and then the security guards are on the first floor, and so basically, I'm on, like, an entire floor all by myself, and it's freaky because we have these sensor lights, and they, they're not supposed to turn on unless they're triggered, so there's, like, a small area where I sit where they're on all the time, obviously, because I'm sitting there, but then all the rest of the floor is dark. And sometimes they will turn on, like, in sequence as though someone is walking but nobody is there. And it's really creepy. I hate it when that happens. Because the security guards do, like, come by every hour and do a walk around. So when this, you can always tell when the security guards are there because you can hear the footsteps. And, like, you can see the lights turning on. And from where I sit at my desk, I can actually... It's a really weird building, but, like... I can see down to where the security guards sit. So that I know there are three security guards on. So if I see like the lights are turning on, I can look down to where the security guards are and be like, oh, okay, there's only two guards there, which means that one of them is doing a walk around. That's why the lights are turning on. But sometimes the lights will turn on and I look down and all the security guards are like sitting at their station and I'm like, oh, damn. Oh no, like it's freaky as, and I always like, I feel like you can kind of see stuff moving out of the corner of your eye. And I mean, I'm probably just exaggerating, like I'm not exaggerating because I've actually asked other people, I'm like, oh, do you notice this? And someone at work is like, yeah, the lights turn on all the time, but I pretend it doesn't happen. But I don't know if it's just that like, you're tired and like your mind is playing tricks on you, which I, I'm like, I'm sure that it is, but it's still kind of freaky, like when you're all by yourself and the bloody lights are turning on. So I like make a point of never doing like I don't watch because um, it's not super busy on night shift. So we are allowed to watch like YouTube and I make a point of never watching anything scary on YouTube because I get to the point where like I, I did it once. I watched um, something like a scary documentary on YouTube and I couldn't even go to the toilet. I was so afraid. I was just like sitting there. And I'm like, I'm not leaving my desk. And I had to wait for the morning people to come in to go to the toilet because I was like, no. Nah, no, nah, I'm not leaving. And, like, I, I wouldn't even go to the kitchen. Like, I was so hungry and I was thirsty. And, like, I didn't have to go to the toilet that bad. But, like, I just remember I was really hungry and I was really thirsty. And I was, like, sitting on my desk. And I'm, like, someone, someone come in. I'm too afraid to go anywhere. And, yeah, I learned my lesson. I will never do that again. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, guys. I actually have to go because my throat is so incredibly sore. Like, I just, I can't. I can't. Um. This is a little bit shorter than usual, but I hope that you still enjoyed this build. Um, I hope to catch you all in another video. Um, it would be awesome if you could subscribe. You know, become a member of the Jess Plays fam. <laughs> oh my god, I hate doing that because, like, on one hand, it's like, I, you know, obviously I want people to subscribe, but on the other hand, it's like, you know, to subscribe, I feel like I don't need to tell you to. Anyway, whatever, guys. <laughs> I will um, hopefully catch you all in another video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed.